so sad and heartbroken. I won't believe what happened to me. I'm so sad and heartbroken. I don't know what to do. Hold on, let me get it. Let me leave the lot very It's like I can't even cry no more. I did enough crying already. <laughs> Y'all won't believe this. Y'all will not believe it. Alright, check it, y'all. So I came to the library to do some work, right? <laughs> I came to the library to do some work. And so, you know, this is a public library, right? And they tell us to, you know, if don't leave your personal items unattended. So <laughs> it's hard for me to even say that. So to avoid me leaving my items unattended, I decided to take them into the uh, bathroom with me because I had to go use the restroom. And I had my laptop with me. I had my purse, you know, my jump drive and everything. And I didn't want to leave everything on a table. So I took it in the bathroom with me. Now here's the thing. When I got ready to go in the bathroom, I basically, I didn't close everything up as I should have and like removed my jump drive from my laptop. I didn't do that. I left it in my laptop. I closed my laptop, stuck it in my book bag. <laughs> stuck it in my book bag, y'all. And this book bag, it's a nice book bag, but it's not good for holding my laptop. You know, I don't know if you guys can see how it is, but it's not really good for holding my laptop because there's a flap on it that keeps going like this. You know, it's open. So I go inside the restroom. I had to use the bathroom real bad. I had to pee. Go inside the freaking bathroom, y'all. Take off my freaking... I'm so mad, y'all. I take off my freaking um, book bag to use the restroom. Guess what come out my freaking book bag? My freaking laptop with my freaking jump drive in it y'all i am so freaking mad right now i'm having the worst day ever y'all this is my worst day ever i don't think yeah in 20 i think in 28 2017 is my worst day freaking ever so guess what come out of my freaking book bag my laptop come tumbling down on the freaking floor in the bathroom and i go to pick it up right now, I'm like, fuck the laptop. I'm more concerned about my jump drive and the laptop. Because what's on my jump drive is worth more than the laptop. How I look at it anyway. You get what I'm saying? It's priceless information on my freaking jump drive. <sighs> so, I go to the side of my laptop to see, check out my jump drive, right? To see if it's still in there. And it's broken off. Piece of it is in there, y'all. The other piece is in pieces on the freaking floor in the bathroom. I'm like, oh my gosh. This cannot be happening to me, y'all. Oh my gosh. Let me let him pass that music. So, y'all, I am so fucking upset. So I go to pick up the pieces that broke off from my jump drive that were on the floor. Pick them up. I pull the piece that's inside the jump drive, inside my laptop out. I don't know why I did it. And I started it back into the laptop, right? I, I turned the laptop on because at this point, the laptop completely shut off by itself. So I turned the laptop back on, try to see if I can, there's a, it, try to see if there's any information still on my jump drive, the piece that was stuck in there, right? Go to search in the folder. It, Actually, the jump drive, the, my laptop wasn't even reading my jump drive, y'all. It didn't even read it, y'all. So, I'm looking at the piece that broke off from the jump drive that's on the bathroom floor. And I'm like, that's my freaking information right there. My information is in the piece. It just, it came apart, y'all. It's like piece of the jump drive is still, was in my, still in my laptop. And the other piece that contains the information was on the freaking floor of the bathroom. Now, this is 
it, y'all. This is a kicker because y'all don't understand. What's on my jump drive is my school stuff. Everything, all of my work that I've done so far in my PhD program is on my freaking jump drive, y'all. Y'all don't understand how hurt, how hurt I am. Y'all, y'all don't understand. So please leave me some words of encouragement, y'all, because I'm so hurt right now. Now, granted, this is the end of the semester, so I only have a few more things to do. Excuse me, y'all. I was crying. Like, when that happened, y'all, when this happened in the bathrooms, I went into the, um, I didn't go into a regular stall. I went into, uh, a, you know, the stall for the disabled, right? So I have more space. I went in there. <sighs> I'm so freaking mad, y'all. And when that happened, I just bust out into tears, crying. I was like, <laughs> "No, this happened to maybe I don't know two hours ago, right?" Because I, how I look at it is, this, you know, I came to the library to get work done, and it's funny because what I was working on, it was still up in Microsoft Word, so it was still there. So I didn't lose the work that I was working on. When I opened my laptop, it was still there. So what I ended up doing was just saving it to my my um my, my uh, documents folder, you know, to the desktop on my laptop. But I cried, y'all. I cried my heart out, and I was just like, I can't believe this is happening to me. I can't believe like this is this has to seem real, so traumatic. When I say all of my freaking work that I've done so far in my PhD program is on that freaking jump drive, y'all. And it's, <laughs> it's broken. So this is what I'm trying to do. <sighs> y'all don't understand. I'm so upset. So this is what I'm left to do. I'm left to try to find some kind of tech company around here who can repair my jump drive i hope there's some hope y'all for me i'm praying y'all pray for me please leave me some words of encouragement or something but i'm really hoping and praying that i can find some tech company around la or anywhere in this freaking world this country who can help me repair this freaking thing because i have had to show it to you guys i have to show it to you guys but it's broken y'all like the piece that goes into the laptop to the drive is separated from the other piece that actually contains the information that is connected to y'all. It's it broke. So I'm like, if there's some way, somebody who is tech savvy can repair it, can put it back together, so I can at least pull the information from it and transfer it to another file, y'all, because I don't want to lose my information. <sighs> And so I cry, y'all. I cried and cried and cried in the bathroom for a little while. Then I had to pull myself together. <sighs> and I started, you know, I went back to the spot where I was working at and finished working on my my assignment that I was working on, y'all. I had to pull myself back together because I'm like, I can't, first of all, I'm losing time, you know. I have to be productive and I can't. I can't just go home and say fuck everything, even though I felt like that. I felt like going home and just saying fuck everything because that happened, y'all. I just felt like giving up. I just felt like throwing everything away, just saying just fuck everything, y'all. But I was like, no, I can't do this. I came to the library to complete this assignment, so I need to complete this assignment. So I have to gather myself, and I have to just find a way to cope and deal with it. And so I thought to myself, I said, well... I have a lot of information on several different jump drives. And I look at this, but I didn't lose everything, right, that I own. You know what I'm saying? Because that would be a disaster in terms of, like, I have a jump drive for my, well, for each of my nonprofit organizations, I have a jump drive for each one. Which I feel like that information on those drives are, is worth way more than what's on my personal drive, you know, in terms of my schoolwork, right? I mean, schoolwork is important, but I'm like, fuck. At least it's not 
my business information, right? At least it's not, you know what I'm saying, stuff that is really, 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 really important. My schoolwork is important, like I say, but it's not it's not my business stuff. Now, I probably, I don't know what I would do. So, after that happened, y'all, I finished working on my assignment. And I, I said, you know what, I have to back up all my shit. And I do have an external hard drive. So I end up, I took 15 minutes to back up all of my stuff. My, my, the stuff that I was working on and my, you know, stuff from my businesses. I end up just backing up everything that I own, y'all, on every single jump drive that I have. I just backed up everything to my external hard drive. And I'm just like, this is not, this cannot happen to me ever again. And then I thought, I'm like, okay, well... I didn't lose everything because really I have another jump drive that contains the exact same information that the one that got destroyed has. The only difference is that it has the one that got destroyed has a folder with my current schoolwork, the work that I've been doing so far as a PhD student. Two years worth of work, y'all, I lost from that jump drive. But it's not completely lost because I look at it as this way. All of the work that I've done, this is how I was able to kind of put, get myself back together, y'all. And just kind of see the light in the tunnel because what was on the jump drive, my schoolwork, I think I have another backup copy of everything. It's either... In my email, because I most of my assignments I email to my professors. So what I can do is take some time and go through my email, search my professor's email, right? I can just type in their email address and then download, pull up all of the assignments that I email all my professors so far in the program, download them and then save them to a totally different drive, y'all. <sighs> Now, if I did email the assignment to my professor, what I can do is um, look at my syllabi, all of my syllabi or all my classes I've taken so far. And if I don't have um, a digital version of it in my email that I emailed to my professors, I figure that, you know, I can have a print copy. I'm sure I have a print copy that the professor gave back to us, um, that but gave back to me or whatever, rather. And I could just scan it as a PDF and then save it to my junk drive because the thing this is the thing yeah i keep all of my assignments which way am i going i don't even know i'm like so disoriented right now y'all i am so y'all don't know y'all just don't understand y'all just don't understand i think i gotta go this way but like i said that's how i can recover all of my assignments and the other thing is that the other drive that i was telling you guys about that is pretty much a duplicate of the drive that got destroyed. It basically has everything up until 2016, which is when I enrolled in the program. So it has everything that I've done in terms of schoolwork, just personal stuff that I need, personal documents and information. It has everything on it up until 2016. The only difference between the duplicate drive, and like I said, and the one that got destroyed today is my PhD schoolwork, which I'm going to have to just recover. <sighs> recover just like I, how I told you guys just now. My mind is just, oh, y'all, I'm all over the place. But, yeah, I'm going to definitely try to find a tech company that is able to repair this jump drive for me. I'm going to have somebody. Somebody can do it. I know there's a way. There's a way. Somebody can repair it, y'all. Like this could not be happening to me. What the freak? And this is not the first time I had this scare either, y'all. I had this scare once before, not where I lost um, all of my information on my jump drive, but where I lost a file, an assignment that I was working on for class. I lost it. It wasn't on my jump drive and I'm like I had to did the whole entire assignment so what I had to do was just do it all over again I'm just like oh my gosh Lord help me I can't this can't be happening to me but pray for me y'all 
Don't just watch and be nosy. Like I'm looking, I need help, y'all. I need y'all support. I need y'all encouragement. If you're a writer and you ever lost any of your files because you didn't have it back up, please share your support. Okay, I'm out here looking for the train station. Where am I going? I'm thinking I'm going to be wrong. That way. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Sixth Street. It's a Sixth Street thing. See, where am I going? Y'all have no idea, y'all. So, I'm heartbroken. But life goes on, you know what I'm saying? I can't allow that one incident just to stop the shatter my whole freaking day and the rest of this month. I can't I have to keep going. Life goes on, so I have to keep going, y'all. That's the only way. But y'all don't know, I'm heartbroken. And it's really, a, it's like it's taught me a huge lesson, you know? I'm really valuing all of my work more. I'm valuing everything that I've done more just because this has happened to me you know this this drive that i'm telling you guys about not only has my school work it has all of my manuscripts that i've written and i've you know i'm an author you guys i've written a lot of manuscripts they're just not published i've written a lot of freaking manuscripts so yeah my task this weekend is to make sure that I can recover the files on my duplicate drive because I tried to access my duplicate drive and it, hey, hey Rakaya, I tried to access my files on my duplicate drive and it's not even coming up, but that's an old drive. I had that drive since I was like, I was like in my master's program back in 2004. No, back in 2006, 2007, when I was in my master's program. So that's a pretty old drive. So I need to copy. When I do, when I'm able to access that duplicate drive, I'm going to have to transfer everything from that because just probably just throw that shit in the trash and get rid of it because it's acting funny too. Even the duplicate drive that has everything else on it. So I'm <sighs> just, y'all. This can't be happening to me. I'm like, if I lose all of my freaking manuscripts that I've written, including my autobiography, American Dreamer, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I think I might just just take a book of flight somewhere, don't tell anybody, and just just go into seclusion or something. Uh, you know where the uh, train station is? Am I going the wrong way? Yeah. On the one on... Uh, 7th Street, right? 7th Street is this way? Okay. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Rakaya, if you're still watching, if you're an author, give me some support. I think I lost my files. I don't know what to do. What to do, y'all. I'm definitely going to try to find a tech person that can fix this. You get what I'm saying? Somebody should be able to fix my jump drive. You know? Because it's pretty much a falling apart it's falling apart my jump drive is just into me just take just imagine a jump drive and imagine i don't know somebody just break it it's like broken into half that's essentially what happens to my jump it's just broken into half y'all <sighs> get carbonite going forward carbonite what is that a lot of people tell me about like these online programs that I can upload my documents to, like Google Drive, and I know about Google Drive, like in my program we use um, Dropbox to upload all of our files for our dissertation, so I'm not completely, I'm not completely heartbroken because I know, you know, I still have access to a lot of my, my PhD work that I've completed, either through email that I emailed to my professors or through Dropbox that I've uploaded to Dropbox for my dissertation. So it's not like it's all going, but I don't know. That's a, that's a sc it scares me, y'all, because I'm like, how can I be so clumsy to drop my freaking laptop? First of all, to put it in this freaking bag that's really too small for my freaking laptop in the first place, and then the shit fall out of my bag, fall on the floor. I left my jump drive 
in the like, who like who does that? Leave your jump drive in the laptop, knowing it can break off. That's essentially what happened. It broke when it fell. My laptop fell in my book bag. It broke off. My jump drive essentially broke off into my laptop. Another piece just broke into the floor. Been there yet. Someone might be able to retrieve it. I'm praying so. But that's the will, that's the way. I'm praying. I will go anywhere in this country to get that information and recover, y'all. I don't care how much money I got to spend. I, the information that's on it is worth way more. That's how I look at it. So I don't care how much it costs. If you're watching this, you're a tech person. Please reach out to me because I need to recover some files on my jump drive. Breathing will work out. Carbonate backup computer automatically to clouds. Access anywhere. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's Google Drive. And Google Drive is pretty, I guess it's reliable. My thing is this. I'm going to be concerned about uploading things to the cloud because this is about personal information. Copyrighted information. I don't want nobody to steal it. Especially my unpublished manuscripts, and so I'm kind of weary about uploading things to the cloud. But I mean, we live in, like I said, we live in a new day and age now. You think about it, it's kind of convenient to do that, to be able to upload things to the cloud. You don't have to have actual physical copy of it. Because I mean, we can lose things. Like physical copies of things can get destroyed. You know, you lose it. So. I'm going to definitely look into that. Thanks for your support, Rakaya. I do appreciate it. <laughs> I cried, y'all. Me crying, it felt good to cry. Because I was just so, oh my gosh, I felt so powerless, y'all. It's like nothing you can do when it's broken. You're looking at a broken disc. It's broken. You know, nothing you can do at that point in time anyway. But now I kind of got myself together a little bit. I'm like, okay. Breathe, focus is something that I can do. It's something that I can do to fix the situation. Number one, that's why I say immediately after that happened, my other my other two jump drives, I backed up right away on my um, external hard drive. I mean, I backed those things up real quick. So I'm like, this is not going to happen to my business files. My personal files, yeah, it happened. But even with the personal disk, like I say, I have all my schoolwork on there. I have my, all my resumes, everything like that's personal. I have my freaking manuscripts on there. Oh my gosh. But luckily it didn't happen to my business stuff, y'all. Business found me talking about important, really important stuff that I cannot lose. I cannot, no, I can't lose that. You're welcome, keep me posted, good night. This guy should be able to help. I don't know. Will they be able to help? Geek Squad or something like that? Because this is more of like a technical hardware issue. You know what I'm saying? If they can fix this problem, then... Okay, I think this is the train station. Okay, if they can help me fix it, then oh my gosh, I don't know. Like I said, I'll pay anything. I don't care. Just help me somebody can recover these files, can put the disc, assemble the disc back together again, how it's supposed to be. It don't even got to be necessarily how it's supposed to be. Just assemble it to the point where I'm able to transfer the file so that it can read. A computer can be able to read it and I can transfer it to a new disc and just say rest in peace to this broken one. But thank you so much for your support. I'm about to go ahead and jump on this train, y'all. I'm heartbroken. I'm about to go jump on the train, get my nails done, and do something. I gotta treat myself to something nice and special because, number one, that happened to me. Number two, I fought through it. You get what I'm saying? I still stayed at the library, still did my assignment, even though I was mad, angry, hurt, everything, y'all. Still, I'm still hurt and angry, but <sighs> breathe, like you say, breathe. <laughs> you gotta breathe, so. It happens. That's definitely a lesson for me. It ain't gonna happen again. I said that with the last file, cause the last, the last time I had a scare like that was just like recently. You get what I'm saying? This semester where I had a corrupted file, and people are like you didn't back it up. I'm like, come on, it was a paper that I was working on. I knew I saved it to my, my disk, but when I went to go pull it up to email it to my professor, it wasn't there on my jump drive. And I'm like, 
what the free it was a corrupted file essentially my how do files get corrupted but everybody is telling me like warning me against using these jump drives They're like get rid of those jump drives those little thumb drives you know that they said get don't even use them you know i guess it's okay like the little small projects but no that's not a good place to store important important stuff like that and so <laughs> just definitely gonna have to take a different approach to this situation moving forward y'all but thank you guys for your support let me go ahead and go get on this train go get my nails done and Wallow in grief and grieving you guys because I lost some very important stuff. But thank you guys for your support. <laughs> Bye.